Hey, if you have a dual cam Honda CB, you probably had charging system problems. Let RM Stater fix that for you. Hey, I'm Evan, head of engineering for RM Stater. Today we're going to show you how to install our uh, stator and our field coil rotor on a 1982 Honda CB750C. Uh, this process is definitely the same for the 79 to 82, 83 models. Uh, so follow along, we'll show you how to get started. Okay, so to start with, we're gonna check our charging system and uh, we already know it's bad on this bike, but let's see what that looks like. So we have our RM Stator uh, battery analyzer attached to the battery. Um, you'll see that we're monitoring our battery voltage here and it's showing us the load condition of the battery, or the charge condition, sorry, which is medium. and is definitely not fully charged, but the battery is okay on this bike. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and turn the key on and turn our kill switch on and we should get a battery warning now because we're pulling the voltage down. So I'm going to start it up and if everything was working well, we should be seeing oh, 13 volts or so, uh, somewhere around idle. And as we rev the motor up, we should be seeing uh, upwards of 14 or low 14s, uh, ideally 14 and a half or so, but these charging systems are not real powerful. So let's go ahead and start it up and see what it looks like. So we can see that we're getting no more than very low 12s out of our battery, which says we're not charging it at all. Uh, so that tells us that the charging system is not working, which we already knew. And now that we've confirmed it, let's go ahead and get started fixing it. Okay, so let's get started on our uh, stator and rotor installation. Um, so to start, um, we went ahead and uh, pulled the seat up, uh, which is just two bolts, 12 millimeter bolts at the back uh, to remove and you can slide the seat out of the way. And I'm going to get our side cover out of the way, which just hangs on a little bracket here and has uh, little pins that push into rubber grommets. So that's out of the way. Now we can see our stator connector right here. It's in a little clip on the side of the battery box. I'm going to go ahead and unplug that. Just push in on the locking uh, uh, terminal and then you can just pull right back out. Now I've already loosened and um, unrouted the uh, stator wiring, but it routes down here, kind of behind your motor mount. Uh, back along here and it stuffed right under the bottom of the motor in your frame and it runs right along here and then to this bracket and into the side case here. Um, there's no need to really remove anything. You, there is a little bracket back here uh, with a 10 mil bolt that holds it in place. You can, you can kind of pry the bracket out of the way with the screwdriver a little bit or you can remove the bolt or loosen it and get enough room to pull the wiring out. So I've already done that and I'm gonna lay our stator wiring out. So I have it all loose now, set it out of the way. Now we wanna go ahead and remove the side case. Side case mounts with three eight millimeter bolts. Um, I've already loosened them, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these guys. Now it's a dry case, so there's no need to drain any oil. You can just loosen those three and pull the side cover right out. Now as long as you've already loosened the stator harness, you can set this whole assembly aside and we'll get to it in just a minute. Okay, so now we're looking at our field coil rotor um, and the bolt that holds it in place. So I've already loosened this. Um, the bolt is, I believe, a 17. So I use an impact gun to remove these, like this guy, electric impact gun. And you can just put it right on there and blast this bolt off. So I've done that, now it's out of the way. Now to remove the rotor from the crankshaft, you need uh, the tool, this is a factory type tool, or you can use a bolt uh, that's the right thread. And it just threads into the threads on the inside of the um, field coil rotor. So you want to, assuming this guy was tight, I've already removed it so it's loose, but if it's tight, you just want to thread your puller tool in until it stops, so it's finger tight, and you'll feel it touch the end of the crankshaft. So now it's tightened up there. Then you would put your uh, impact gun on there and go ahead and tighten it. And as you tighten it, that's gonna thread into the rotor and it's going to pull, by pushing against the crankshaft, it's gonna pull it off of the taper. So by doing that, now you can see this pops right off. I can go ahead and set this aside, the old puller and old rotor. Okay, so now we're gonna install our new rotor. You want to clean up anything you have in the case. We have some insulation from the old stator that's flaked off, so get that out of the way. Now, installing your new rotor is real simple. There's no 
timing associated with this. There's no keyway, there's no indexing. It's just a press fit right on the taper of the crankshaft. So I'm just gonna slide it on and grab my bolt and I'm going to thread it on. So get it lined up with the threads on the crankshaft and tighten that up. And then you wanna use your impact gun again uh, with a 17 uh, millimeter socket and uh, tighten this guy up. So that'll pull it in and it'll be fully seated on the taper of the crankshaft. Okay, so doing that, we'll take care of our rotor. Now next, we want to change our stator. And we'll change our shot in a minute and give, give you a better close up of this. But this uh, is your side case with the stator installed. And if you can see inside here, we have the brush holder. Uh, that's what holds two carbon brushes that ride on the face plate of the rotor here. Um, it's very easy to remove. You have three bolts or, around the outside of the stator. They are a um, Japanese pitch uh, Phillips head screw, so they're very easy to strip out. Um, I use a um, uh, impact screwdriver on these guys to break them loose. Um, so once you undo all three of those, your stator will just slide out of the side case. And your brush holder is mounted with two 10 millimeter bolts inside. So you wanna loosen those up and remove them. And then there'll be some ring terminals on your new stator that need to be attached. So let me get all this out and I'll show you how to put the new one back in. Okay, so we've got our side cover on the bench here and here's our old stator I've removed. It was still working, uh, but you can see that it has a lot of heat damage. Uh, some of the securing for the windings has come loose. Um, so it, it uh, was, would have been okay to use, but it's definitely well worn. So we're getting rid of that guy, get it out of the way. Here's our new stator installed. Um, it is uh, installed in the side cover. We have the three mounting uh, bolts tightened up. And then here you can see the brush holder. So it removes with uh, two small 10 millimeter bolts here. So I've removed those and I've gone ahead and attached the ring terminals from our new stator to uh, the two brush holders. On this type of system, it doesn't matter. Uh, one side's not, not uh, grounded, so it doesn't matter which uh, ring terminal goes to which. Uh, so one's a white wire, one's a black wire, as you can see here, hopefully. But uh, it doesn't matter which goes to which here. So I have them uh, secured to the brushes here again. And then I'm going to put the brush holder back in place. Let me kind of set it here and I'll show you what it looks like. It's wire kind of routes down below in there and then it sits down inside the side cover and I'll put the two 10 mil bolts back in to lock it into place. So that holds our brushes in line with the rotor to make sure they, they connect to the rotor in the right spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that all up and then we'll show you uh, putting the side cover back on and getting the stator plug back in. Okay, so we've got our rotor tightened up. We have our stator installed uh, and our side cover. We're gonna go ahead and put the side cover back on. Make sure my gasket's in place. It just slides right over. And I'm gonna line it up with the bolt holes. It's going to put the three eight millimeter mounting bolts back in. And I'll just tighten them just a little bit here to hold it. Okay, and then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your grommet is in place here in the side cover. Uh, it's not pinched or anything. And then you're gonna reroute your stator wiring. So it starts by grabbing the clip right here on the side. And you're gonna to wanna to fish the, the connector underneath so it'll clear. And then it routes right along the bottom of the crankcase and up along here, front of the frame. Comes out right here and plugs right in at the old connector and then that clips into place here in a little clip in front of the battery box. So that's how to uh, change your stator and your rotor on this CB and then we'll uh, make sure we show you how to check the charging system next and make sure it's working. All right, so when you do any charging system work, make sure you check that your system's working well when you're done. Um, so we have our uh, RM Stator uh, battery tester and charging system analyzer plugged into the battery and we're monitoring the battery voltage. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the key on. We're gonna start it. And uh, with this system, it's not real powerful at idle, but we should be seeing the battery charging. So a little over 13. And we don't have a fully charged battery here, so we're not gonna see peak uh, voltage, but we should be seeing low 14 volts or right around there um, with all of our new parts installed. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're not charging much at idle, which is normal for these guys. 
soon as we rev it up a little bit, we're seeing low 13s. Perfect. So at about 5,000 RPM or so, we should be seeing over 14 volts, and we are. So we got a good working charging system on your bike. Make sure you do that test just to be sure everything's working well before you get it back on the road. Hey, thanks for checking out our video and seeing how to uh, fix up the charging system and ignition system on this uh, Honda CB750. Uh, make sure you follow along, uh, like our YouTube channel, subscribe, uh, leave us some comments, let us know any other uh, bikes, parts, uh, questions you have, stuff you'd like us to, to show you how to fix. We have a lot of parts available and we'd love to show you how to put them on your vehicle. So check us out.